My name is Kyla Demers and I'm an athletic therapist. Uh, after my athletic therapy studies, I wanted to do research on concussions, but back uh, in the day, it wasn't a big topic. So I pursued my studies uh, in osteopathy. And when I came out of my osteopathy, it was still a bit of an interest for me. And it was basically a case of a young boy who uh, had second impact syndrome who didn't get better and didn't get the care that he needed to a point of becoming suicidal that uh, really set me on my course to build a concussion clinic because I wanted to improve concussion care. So I'm kind of on this mission to improve concussion rehab for everyone, general population, athletes, the elderly. I really think that this care addresses everybody and that's kind of how Vertex came about. So as much on the rehab aspect as it is on the performance aspect. I put a lot of effort on the foundation and building the foundation. Interacting with our environment, doing our job, playing sports, it's an interaction with our environment and vision is, is one of the biggest sensory information that comes in. We get information from our periphery, we identify objects, it could affect our body awareness, it can make us struggle in terms of our attention and focus. So I think vision plays a huge role in the way that we succeed in life every day and in things that we want to excel in. The way that I see it is I think I have a particular background because I was an athlete and because I was a coach. I think coaches use a lot of exercises that involve vision and they don't know that it's vision performance. At first I became an athletic therapist and I learned how to in involve exercises to make an athlete better to do the rehab, a little bit of manual therapy. Then I did my osteopathy and it was like, it's like I forgot to be an athletic therapist and I was just doing manual therapy. And so now what's happening is with this new information and this these, this new knowledge that I have is I've changed the way that I practice. I've gone back to my athletic therapy roots. So instead of doing a full 50 minutes of manual therapy, I'm going to do my 30 minutes of manual therapy, but now I'm going to put more emphasis on the exercise. And so sometimes it's going to be, I can't even get to the, the dynamic stuff because the person has has a poor core so we start with the core and we start with basic vision exercises and then the person is dizzy so we got to do some vestibular stuff and so it's changed my practice in the sense that I'm really coming back to this foundation and growing the person whether they're an athlete or gen pop to bring them back to where they want to go what are their objectives so there's a much better buildup and in that buildup there's a much better durability so I think that uh, we are getting more and more into this integrative therapy where if you are a person in rehab that really puts the patient first, you are going to work as a team. I was taking a course in Guelph, Ontario where they introduced the NeuroTracker as one of the tools that you could use in clinic. It caught my attention uh, really quickly. I like the NeuroTracker because I can send it home with the person and we can maximize time. So it means they can use it regularly without having to drive here or be in the clinic. And that's what I really like about it. So what, when I get to a certain stage in my rehab, when the person doesn't have any more nausea or visual motion sensitivity, I want to get them on there as fast as possible, especially if they're having a hard time growing in terms of their endurance, their abilities to sustain attention or sustain effort. So as soon as uh, we're comfortable with some of the visual motion sensitivity stuff, I will test them in clinic to see how they react and how they feel. If there's no negative reactions, then I will get them on a program at home to do regularly in combination with all the other stuff. So as we're starting to look towards progressive return to school, progressive return to work, um, I want to prolong their ability to sustain uh, energy expenditure in the day. I will use the narrow tracker to work on that endurance element. I think using this type of neurotechnology really helps in terms of increasing the ability of a person to, um, how would I explain, when things become more complex 
It gives them the ability to focus on their weaknesses. So if you take a complex muscle development or motor development, when you're at the basic, it's great. You've got one thing, one thing to think about. Posture, you know? Okay, now what if I ask posture with movement? Posture with movement and strategy. Things as they become more complex, some people don't or have a harder time with that kind of thing. So the, I think the neurovision technology is something that will help us uh, be able to integrate more information, more complex information, and then to bring it directly to the floor after. I think the, the big tool, the big reason I use NeuroTracker is to improve endurance and improve that sustained attention, that sustained demand and reaction time. So I think once we start getting close to return to work, return to play, being able to sustain longer periods of attention and concentration, I think it's a fantastic tool. For one, I'm an eternal optimist in terms of concussion rehab or rehab, and so I think that having new tools to try to take it to the next level, not accepting that the person is gonna live at an 80%, I think we can use these tools to help people get back to 100, even beyond 110% from where they were before. I also think that it is the new up and coming tool to use to take an athlete to the next level in terms of the performance. And I think these neuro, neurovision technologies are gonna help us get there.